Hi, we are back with another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge on Short Lifespan. My name is Christy, and last time we had Delia age up, Brenna moved out, and Hayden is now pregnant again, finally. So if you haven't, if you're new here and you haven't checked out any other, any other episode, I'll link the first video uh, down below. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know, let me know what you think. And let's just jump right into it. Delia is automatically going to dance. Oh. And here's Austin. Oh, someone was making a mess. A couple messes. Okay. Oh, well, there's a bathroom right here. Why don't you use it? Oh my gosh, they all need the bathroom. I don't use that one. No. <laughs> oh, well, I do have money to build another bathroom. Okay, oh, Hayden is... She's off swinging. And there it pops up. Second, or the next trimester in 12 hours. Oh my gosh, okay. We need another bathroom. Where can I put it? Like, do I maybe just, like, make this a hallway and then put another bathroom over here? I don't know. And then, so I want to build a baby room so I can lock everyone else out of it. Well, except for maybe the teens, because the teens can help. Okay, this, I'm not very good with this planning stuff for, like, floor plan, like, layouts of houses. Hmm. But I feel like two toilets is not going so well. Okay. Oh, here, use. He didn't come upstairs. Stop swinging. Kason is... Looking at all the birth certificates. Come eat. Okay, Delia. Why don't you come up here and take a shower? What skills? I mean, you just have dancing. And none of these, none of your traits really lean towards anything. But after you shower, you're going to fix the dollhouse. Emmanuel's motor level three. Good. You just need one more. Oh, and you got some time. Oh, I can move the little... Oh, I didn't know I could move these. That is helpful. There we go. All their food is now in their pen. Which I feel like maybe I should, like, make this bigger. Okay, Delia fixed the, um, you, the dollhouse. And Kaysen is painting it. Yeah, he was the one that just kept staring at the um, easel. And oh, what are, what's going on over here? All right, Hayden's feeling flirty, so she's going to go swing. You can't do yourself woohoos anymore. There are lots of kids around. Oh, what are you doing? You're silently yelling at him. What's going on? Here. Tell not to be mean. Like, Chase, I know you have a lot going on and your life is tough, but you shouldn't be taking it out on anyone. Okay, do your homework. Okay, this is not a bad painting, Kason. You really need to shower. I want you to finish it. Okay, you need some fun. Why don't you just, like, play a game? And then... Whoop. Hayden's back to the swing. I got that for the kids, and you're going to get the most use out of it. 
All right. Oh, good job, Kaysen. We're going to sell it. And then you need to take a shower. Okay. You still need to get another skill up. So, where's the heavy dance? Go dance. And we're... Oh, yeah, you're, you're cooking as your highest. But we're going to... We're just going to send you to sleep. Okay, Hayden, can we do a little bit of cleaning up? And then what is our food situation? Okay, we just got the veggies. So I think we're going to have to make something else. Uh, Kaysen, you are kind of dancing. Go over here and dance. You are blocking the fridge. Now let's uh, clean out the spoiled food and make our fish. All right, it's almost 11 o'clock, so everyone needs to kind of hurry up. And then last time, Brennan moved out and he got the abusive trait. I actually have deleted that trait. I decided, like, no, I do not want that in my game. Um, that's... I like some realism, but that's just not the kind of realism I want. So I did go ahead and delete it, so we don't have to worry about that with any other kids. Oh, and Brennan got married to Dana Watson. So, oh, she's got a big family. So this is the granddaughter of Thomas and Rami. Oh, okay, so she was... Um, oh wow. So her parents are Rashida and Don Lothario. Don got married to Lilith Vitor. And Rashida is married to our doctor. So our daughter-in-law is the daughter of our doctor. <laughs> All right, the family trees are about to get a little bit messy. Let's get you... Here, will you eat some fish? I don't know. Emmanuel is up. No, not the cake. Go um, take a shower. And get some fish for breakfast. Oh, Fiona had a scary dream. She was being chased by a giant teddy. Oh, the unicorn little onesie didn't save you. Okay, then go potty. And how is Freya? Freya, you will, when you wake up, go potty. No, Delia, do not. No. There's food out. Like, when there's food out, why do you go in the fridge? Shouldn't you just... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, and it's a uh, twin's birthday. I just got the notification. Okay, it's Freya and Fiona's birthday. Oh, you also, let's relist this. I right, always tell the kids go to school and then we'll, we'll age up the girlies. But I mean, Fiona did so good. Like, I could have gotten her the, all three. Oh, wait. Oh, Kaysen is a vegetarian. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was Brennan. Oh, look at him being like a big brother. Seeing what Fiona wants to do. And she's still scared. Oh, he's going to teach her to talk. Okay, all the kids are off to school. Hayden's doing a painting. We'll let her finish that and I think get the mail. And little Freya is going to get some fish. Oh, this is a good painting. There you go, 450. Yeah, let's get the mail. Oh, I think. That's right. I was going to cheat that away. Um, I wish I could just delete and never have in my game the roughhousing. Although they usually never do roughhouse, but it's just, it's annoying. All right, they are all set. Let's get this cake out. add some birthday candles. I know you want to. Oh, 
Fiona wanted to um, work on her communication because she's mute. Hopefully you do not stay mute. But let's help blow out candles for Freya because she was first and she's patiently waiting. Here is Freya becoming a kid. Oh. Okay, so Freya aged up. Let's see what she is. She's creative, good, practical, and unstable. Okay. But, you know, the creativity and practicality, that go with that. And then Emmanuel was the last one. He was delinquent. So she wants to be a perfect angel. Aw, let's get a look at her. Okay. Well, now let's get put more birthday candles. Oh, Fiona. She is so close to threes on everything. All right, it's Fiona's turn. Okay, oh. Great boost. <laughs> a big test is coming up in history class. Delia has been doing okay, but a good score would really boost her overall grade. Should she do her usual amount of studying or study as much as she can? You know, go ahead, study a lot. And she has a small performance gain. Good. But let's look at Fiona. All right. And she is a goofball, absent-minded, and a perfectionist. Okay, but she's not mute. Uh, these, the absent-minded, these sims get lost in their thoughts and occasionally forget what they are doing or where they are going. They build mental skills lower and become days when they are supposed to be inspired, tense, or focused. Okay, not, not too bad. And she wants to be a social butterfly. Oh, hey, let's get a look at her. All right, let's go ahead and get them all fixed up in cast. If I do like the, um, those PJs on you, you're going to keep those. All right, here is Freya. So I went back to the blonde hair for her, and her eyebrows keep going a little too dark, but I'm just going to leave it. Uh, so this is her, this is her winter look. So here is her every day, her formal athletic sleepwear her party, her swimwear, her hot weather, and her cold weather. And then Fiona, who I think she is just so pretty in this hair. I absolutely love it. So this is her every day, her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, we kept the same, her party, her swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So those are the two girls. We don't have any toddlers right now. Okay, and do we have enough beds? Because we got six kids, so two, four. Oh, yeah, we need one more bed. Okay, so I have added a couple things, added a couple mirrors. I didn't have a mirror in this bathroom. And so that when they want to calm themselves down or give them pep talks. They don't have to take up a bathroom. And you can hear the, I don't know if my mic will pick it up, but they're testing the tornado sirens. It's Friday, it's noon, all the time. So then we got another bunk bed and a toy chest. Down here, I got a little bit better TV. We added a racking chair because we needed something on the porch. And I also um, got new toilets, so these ones hopefully will break down less. We, I expanded the chicken area, so they got a little bit more room. And we also got another planter, and I'll open up some seed packets, and a solar panel. So, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of spend their money. Or otherwise, the next heir is just going to have a lot of money, which, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Or the next heir, the next matriarch. But, yeah. Let's see, how far along is Hayden? Okay, we got 11 hours. Oh, and you are dehydrated. Go get some water. 
You're going to go swing. Okay. And all oh, Freya is so sad. She is unstable. But let's get you on your homework right away. All right, let's see what we get for these seed packets. And you need to do um, some gardening. Go water everything. Oh, Austin, I'm busy. Sorry. Go spend time with your wife. <laughs> okay, we got some parsley and sage and grapes. Green peas. All right, what do I have? There's carrots, spinach, mushroom. So let's... A couple peas. And maybe some parsley. Oh, and now we get 11,000. That's right, we evolved it. Oh, good. Oh, and then you need to come and clean the coop and collect the eggs. Oh, Delia was discovered playing games on her phone when she should have been paying attention to a lesson. Oh, please confiscate the phone. Thank you. Are you actually collecting the eggs or are you just standing there? You are just standing there. Are you stuck? Are you frozen? Okay. Oh gosh. Alright, let's reset you, apparently. Alright, try collecting the eggs again. There we go. Look how pregnant you are. Let's see if we can get the baby in this episode. Okay, we got six eggs. No special or hatchable ones. That's okay. Oh, the kids can ask about worms? Okay. I think once you're done taking out the trash, um, Freya, you are going to water everything and talk about dirt, tell a story about bed bugs. Okay, go water. You are still tense. You're having self-destructive thoughts. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay, just keep swinging. Okay, we still got six trimesters. Or six trimesters. Wow, six hours till next trimester. Okay, no one. No one did uh, increase their grades. But they are loving the green eco footprint. Okay, they're kind of all fine. And I wanted to, because can't you influence like it's still all a lot of trash you know I've had this pack for a while and I was kind of like okay cool you can help you know change the neighborhood and then I never I never tried it so isn't there a, a community lot I think is what you have to do okay what is a check community space projects oh we have to wait until voting it's only Wednesday Okay, so on the weekend, we'll come back and do a community garden, a maker space, or a marketplace. Probably a community garden. But while we're here, let's just recycle some stuff. We have so much basil. Oh my gosh. We don't need like 100 basil. Yeah, why don't you just <laughs> go ahead and do a little bit of recycling? Because I would like to, you know, try to clean everything up around here. I don't know if you're actually doing any recycling or not. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're going to go practice flirting. I was thinking, oh, who's this? Zoe Scott. I was thinking maybe we also find our next baby daddy. Oh, yes, I forgot I said this episode I was going to place down my other family. So, right. okay, you're up here. So let's go home and then, actually no, I'm gonna go to Manage World and then I'll add that family, probably place them, get them a new house and uh, yeah, then we'll go see if we meet one of them. Okay, I have brought Hayden to, no, I'm not, not do anything. Brought him into a park um, that I just placed in Newcrest. So I just moved a family into Newcrest. So we're going to see if they pop up. They're from the 
one of the videos I just made. So I haven't even looked at this part. We got a toddler area, nice. And a fountain with a giant owl. And some chess tables. We got some people. Not oh, military. And we do have a yoga instructor who is pregnant. And some kids are showing up. We got basketball court. There's some soccer balls. A nice kids area. Oh, we can grill out. A few different picnic spots. Okay, this park has a little bit of everything. And if you don't want the spaceship, you got the pirate ship right here. And then just over here, there's more playground. And she can get some food. But we'll let her play some chess and just see who shows up. And I feel like I should almost just bring the whole family here. Because I think they would have fun. Okay, they are a little bit of a mess though. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. Um, after this baby, once they are a toddler, oh, your teeth need some brushing, um, because we can't travel with the family without bringing all the kids. So once they are a toddler, we can go ahead and bring them. Okay. And we got the yoga class going on. Except for I don't think she can actually do it because she's pregnant. Okay, it looks like my people are not showing up. So I might just, you know, go knock on their door just so we can meet them. Okay, a couple of them are outside. Here is Jalen. That's flirty introduction. And Ashley, a flirty introduction. Oh, and it is kind of awkward conversation. <laughs> Sturm, gosh, darn, darn, darn. Zut, zut. Ah. Okay, well, now that she knows them, okay, let's go knock on the door and see if we can meet the other two. I don't really know which one I'd want to pick. Oh, do you not like Jalen? What do you think of him? Oh, he's unattractive. He is um, plain looking. What do you think of... I won't pull up. Oh, okay, she thinks she's basic looking. All right, let's go meet Colleen. And there's one more. Oh, she's out here. We need some grilled fruit. Okay, can we... Okay, come on. Meet Serenity. Oh, how did you already meet Serenity? I don't know. What do you think of Colleen? She's attractive. And Serenity. Okay, you don't know. Alright, we're getting close to baby time. Oh, she wants to go chat with Ashley, so I'm going to kind of see who she gravitates towards. Okay, I guess you're not going to go chat with her. Oh, there you go. Why don't you do like a sexy pose for Ashley? Oh, angry face. It is very, very bright in here. Oh, she likes it. Okay, well, it's 10 o'clock. Why don't we eat some of the food that they made? And up here, okay, she's taking a rose petal bath. And you're asleep. Okay, after you eat, we'll head back home. We don't want to leave the kids by themselves too long. We got to work on their skills. And she wants to buy a woodworking table. You know what? I think we can do that. We got some money. Okay, we're off home. We're going to be giving birth soon. Okay, I guess you did not go home. You decided to call a friend. Who are you calling? 
Okay, you called Paka. Okay, but let's go home. There we go. Okay, hopefully these kids aren't too much of a disaster. Come here, go pee, take a shower, and then go to sleep. Baby, we'll be here soon. And then, you know, Freya, why don't you come and scatter some feed? The chickens are going to sleep. Oh, and we need to do some weeding. So why don't Kason come out here? Okay, let's get everyone taken care of. Alright, it is almost two in the morning. And half of them are not even tired. And then we are just waiting on this baby. We'll have a full house again. But, okay. Tomorrow, Kason can be an A student. Ooh. Chase, um, got a little bit of work there. You're going to have to do some homework and probably, like, study hard. Uh, Delia will become a B student, and looks like Emmanuel. Oh, you need one more skill up. Oh, your social is so close. I think we might be able to take care of that when you wake up. And then the girls will have their first day. So we don't have any birthdays until Saturday. So hopefully we'll have um, maybe maybe some today. Okay, I'm actually going to wake up Emmanuel right now so that he can work on his social and get to level four. And everyone else is kind of fine. Okay, you need some fun. So play a game real quick so you can get have some fun and then do your homework. Oh, and Fiona, Fiona fell off. I've actually haven't seen any Sim do that. Okay, all the kids are waking up. You're calling a classmate at 6.30 in the morning. Take a shower. Okay, you've had enough fun. Go um, do your homework. Okay, off to swing. Oh, they need the mental skill to harvest. Okay. Okay, how's it going? Are you almost to level four? Oh, yes. Oh, wait, Emmanuel, you didn't get it. You're at 99%. Come on. Don't dance. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Oh, my God. Okay, quickly. Quickly. There we go. Now he can go to school. And, oh, Freya's mom is invite her other mom inviting her over. Look, you know I have school. Horrible timing. Oh, okay, you finished your homework. Come on, quickly, go. There, we have $26,000. Oh, and we were going to buy a woodworking table. I figure we can probably just put it out on the porch. Why not? Thought maybe we'll have you do a little knitting. It's pretty cloudy. But let's... Oh, okay. When did you start making socks? <laughs> okay, and there is... Kason has a test. Oh, he has two tests. So why don't you just study for both of them? A small performance gain. And so we also have the little birds over here. Maybe cloudy, but it's nice to be out here. Oh, and the chicken wants a party, I think. And then you'll have to clean the coop. Oh, no, Austin. Oh, the chickens are talking. Okay, you know what? Turn your poster in on time. Don't lie about it. Yeah, it, it's hot. It's hot out here. Our coop does not have air conditioning. 
No, just work harder, Chase. Oh, okay, small gain. Oh, and you're excellent now. Okay. Good. Let's have you finish this so you can go clean the chicken coop. And hopefully this baby gets here soon. Oh, she made some mismatch socks that are poor quality, but we'll still list them. Okay, we are just waiting on this baby. Anytime. Okay, you're going to do a pop art painting. That's fine. You can just do whatever you want. Oh, and there we go. Gone into labor. Let's go have baby at the hospital. And here's Isamu, who is, we're also kind of now related to, ish, through marriage. Oh, she wants to go create a social media profile. Okay. All right, let's have this baby. Okay, you gotta go to the other room. No, are we coming in here? Okay, we're staying in here. All right, here we go for baby number nine. And this one will be a G name. I don't have any names picked out. Come on. I guess at least the animation isn't like going through each other. All right, and it's a girl. Okay, so G. Hmm. If we just go with Gia. Gia, and it's a charm. There we go. So we have another girl. We were having all boys before, so I mean, I'd be okay if we had all girls, because then, you know, we have the matriarch settled. Oh, okay. I wasn't quick enough to get a picture. Oh, the baby's crying and not here. Oh, yeah, do a sheet mask. Give birth, gotta take care of your skin. And now go put on some makeup while you have a sheet mask on. Okay. Okay, we are going to, well, I think Gia is going to need to be fed. So let's go breastfeed her and cuddle. And maybe give her a silly face and bounce. Oh, and Emmanuel's an A student. Kaysen's A, Chase's A. Oh, great. But I'm actually going to leave this episode here. So first thing next episode, we will have three birthdays. It's amazing. And, oh, we will get to move out um, the two of them. Oh, Hayden, it's Brennan. Oh, no, we're not going to a nightclub. Okay, she needs her diaper change. But that'll be the first thing we do. So she'll be able to get pregnant right away again. Good, because she is going to be aging up very soon. Uh, yeah, three days. So we need to pause that as much as possible. But, alright, so that's everything for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And hit that notification bell as well. But, alright, we will see you next time. Bye.